Hi guys, my name is Roger, and I'm building a mid-engine supercar in the basement of my home. Let's take a look at what I've been working on this week. Well, I had hoped to have these two molds ready to make parts this weekend, but I just have not finished them. Um, it's Friday afternoon, and this mold is the farthest along. You can see there's a few little spots I need to sand in it. Um, it's getting really close all of the areas except where the putty is is looking really nice these spots with a few little spots here of putty need to be sanded and then the final coat of primer put on this but this is the lower center console that goes between the seats it's kind of upside down but this is where the phone charger would be it will, there'll be a cutout area here to drop the phone in and this is the second mold you can see that it is nowhere near as far along i have uh, glued it all together started puttying and sanding there were a couple of bad spots here that broke off of the corners of the mold i'm having to fill in with putty so it's taking a couple of layers of putty and there was one spot that didn't align great and i don't even see where it's at right now i've been working on that and I kind of filing and cutting it down and sanding it and i've got it blended in pretty well but this is the top of the center console where the speaker will go in. I guess you can see where the speaker area here inserts. And I guess since I have to do these on a weekend, I uh, it's not going to happen this weekend. It's going to be one more week. But it's going to take most of that week probably to finish this mold that's so far behind. At least there's three or four more days of work there to get it to the finish that it needs to be before I pull a part off of it. But I'll continue to work on both of these and get them finished for next weekend and we'll pull both of these parts next weekend. In the meantime, I've also been working on the SolidWorks model for the roof of the car. I have the SolidWorks file finished and I've started working on the mold itself, which is the reverse image of the roof of the car. And that file is 50-60% eh, of the way finished. Once it's 100% of the way, I'll cut it into pieces, how I'm going to see and see it, and we'll start see and seeing that mold. And uh, I'll work on that at the same time that I'm finishing these two molds. So uh, try to keep the CNC running while I'm sanding and priming on these two molds. So hopefully we can start on the roof mold here in just a couple of days. And that'll be a rather large part. It's about, it's around 40 or 42 inches square. So that'll be the largest part that I've made out of carbon fiber so far, and it will be the first body panel. So I'm kind of excited to get the body started. But that's an update for now, and I'll check back with you guys soon. Okay, here's a quick little update. I have these two molds here finished. They are ready to make parts. I, uh, I decided I'm gonna hold off on this mold here a week because I had ordered a special part and it hasn't arrived. I thought it would be here before the weekend, but it's just not going to be here. Today is Friday, and I'm planning on making these parts tomorrow. I'm afraid that if I do like the uh, epoxy resin inputting on either one of these sides here and put the vacuum on the opposite side, I'm afraid the epoxy is going to take the shortest route from the uh, input to the vacuum and not fill the whole part like it should. So I have bought an insert to where I can put the epoxy insert here in the center of the speaker area where the speaker goes. And then I'll do a loop, a vacuum loop all the right, way around the perimeter with the spiral wrap tubing. And I think it'll flow nicely that way up the sides and get up to the top all the way around with that spiral wrap because it'll have a vacuum loop continuous all the way around. It'll be pulling the epoxy. And I think that would feel better and make a better part and guarantee it it be successful so I'm gonna to have to wait till that part comes in which will be sometime after the weekend in the meantime this one is ready to go it has five coats of wax on it I'll put the sixth coat on here in about an hour waiting on this one to dry thoroughly and it will be ready to spray tomorrow afternoon I'm going to put gel coat on this one um, I like the finish of the gel coat a little better with it than without it, it just seems to make a nicer cleaner part although I've been told that uh, you're not really supposed to gel coat it and then clear coat on top of that or there's it's kind of redundant but I'm going to try it again this time anyway just to see what happens but this will be ready to make a part tomorrow and in the meantime while I'm making this part I'm also cutting 
the large mold for the roof of the car, or at least about 80 or 90% of it. It's actually such a large mold, I had to break it into two pieces. But the bulk of it is up there cutting, and let me go and show you that now. So it's a little noisy out here. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk as loud as I can, see if you can hear me, but this is the roof of the car. This pattern is about 80 or 85% of the, uh, the mold itself. It was a little larger than this. It just wouldn't all fit on the table. This part is actually uh, 31 or two inches wide and 49 inches long and three inches thick or deep. So it's a pretty good size part. I just started machining it about uh, 15 or 20 minutes ago. So it's really just getting started. But we'll check back on this uh, in a couple of days and see what it looks like. Well, here is this part. It turned out nice. Let me see where I can get in here and show you. I made the part last weekend and I've been trimming on it for a couple of days to get it to fit exactly right. Pretty happy with the fit. These parts overlap the flange here. They'll bolt in place. The top here is flush so when the speaker pod is finished it'll bolt down and sit and bolt and attach to both of these. that's what this part looks like and uh, I'm pretty happy with it I'm hoping that these all of these parts actually polish and clear coat and turn out really nice if for some reason I can't get the finish on them that I'm hoping for I may cover them with something either leather or the Alcantara fabric um, but hopefully these will polish up and uh, clear coat and look nice so I can leave the raw carbon. I like the raw carbon look. To finish this up, I'll have to cut an opening here for the cell phone to fit down in for the charger. And then there will be another piece pushed up inside of this in the back for a stop for the phone to keep it from falling through the hole. And it'll just be a pocket inside and it'll glue inside of this structure here. But... That'll be in the future. I'm not worried about making that right now. Okay, you guys have seen this before. This is my homemade CNC router. I'm working on making the file for the roof and you can see that the CNC machine crashed. It has broke off of the, or pulled off of the uh, guides here, the V-groove bearings. I'm not quite sure what happened. It's given me uh, trouble three times in the last week. It has crash like it has now twice and one time it was a computer error and i'm not sure what's going on with the computer i think it's either losing connection with the internet or possibly it has some kind of a virus software trying to load in the background and it's crashing the program but i'll look into that separately but you can see here this part is starting starting to take shape there's some contour here back there this is actually the rear of the roof back where it meets the hatch this is the front where it comes up and meets the windshield. There's uh, several inches here missing. I had to split the mold into two pieces. It was just too large to make in one piece. But I, uh, I don't know what happened to cause it to crash. It's been cutting fine. It seems like it cuts for a day or a day and a half fine and then it's, it crashes when I'm not here to see it. So I don't know what's going on. The first time it happened, it looked like I could see it was cutting a straight line. It looked like the end mill started chattering and then just jumped off sideways. So that must have been where it was loading the bearings enough to where it came off track. Um, I'm starting to think that this uh, CNC machine is, is not going to be strong enough to finish the car. I uh, intended on it being kind of a hobby router when I made it, but um, I think cutting all these molds is just gonna be too big of a task for it. Uh, there's a good chance I'm gonna have to rebuild this CNC machine. And if I do, I will rebuild it nice. I'll use some uh, good quality linear bearings and possibly some ball screws to move it instead of the uh, belts that I'm using now. Um, I kind of like the belts. They've not given me any issue, but I've just got to make some decisions how much I'm going to spend rebuilding this router. Am I going to do it first rate where I could actually hire it out and uh, try to make some money with it, making parts later after the car is finished, or am I going to build it uh, somewhere between a where it is now on a top-notch router and spend maybe half or two-thirds the money. Just not quite sure yet. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is put this back together 
see if I can find my uh, XYZ coordinates again. It took me about an hour and a half this morning to put it all back together. Luckily, there was a hole here that had cut in the center. It was working its way spiraling outward, and uh, I was able to get Z off of the surface, which was easy. I, uh, I Z-rode the center X and Y, so I still have some edges. It was giving me some reference. But um, after about an hour and a half, I was able to get it to where it was running consistently all the way around the perimeter of the circle and just barely touching. I think I had it within a few thousandths of being correct. That's when I restarted it this morning and then within 30 minutes it had crashed again. I noticed it had gotten quiet when I was in the house, so I came out and looked at it and saw it had crashed again. Uh, so I, I'm not sure. I don't know if I could put this back together and find XYZ again close enough to finish this part but i'm thinking about putting the uh router back together maybe putting my gopro out here and filming it and see if i can see kind of what's happening i have a feeling that the cutter is getting dull and it's causing the issues but um, you know i can't afford to put a new cutter in the machine every single day and i don't think they should get dull that fast even cutting this nasty mdf i know it's rough on end mills um, so not quite sure what to do. There's a good chance I may have to take some downtime and rebuild this router. If I do, I'll show that progress and the rebuild on the channel so you guys can follow along and watch it. It might be a nice series for some people also that's interested in CNCs or building your own CNC. But until I figure this out, um, I will, uh, I'm not gonna be able to make another part. I do have the mold for the, uh, the rear speaker housing, the subwoofer housing ready and i will make that part tomorrow the carbon fiber part but beyond that i've got some uh some thinking to do some planning to do on what i'm going to do to the cnc and uh, keep you guys posted in the next video as to what my decisions are but anyway that's it for this week and i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys again in a couple of weeks